Okay, it is raining outside and I think this is actually the perfect time to record this video. So you might remember a few months ago, I did a video over these right here. These are the Inreal Air AR glasses. And when you put these on your face, it basically makes an 130 inch screen, kind of like your own movie theater screen right in front of your eyes. And so I have partnered with Inreal for this video to show you one of my favorite things I like to do on the go with these glasses and that is game. Yes, get my game on. So the first console I like to bring with me is the Nintendo Switch and this is the OLED version. A lot of fun with this. But then also I like to bring this bad boy with me. This is the Steam Deck here. So let me show you how to connect these glasses to the Steam Deck because it is the easiest out of the two. So basically you just need to use the USB-C to USB-C cable that comes with these real airs and one side is going to be angled and that's the side you put into the glasses and then the other end you just pop into the USB-C port on the Steam Deck that's at the top of it and then now you just need to put on your glasses which I'm about to do right now like so and now you're ready to game and so you'll just use the controls on the Steam Deck to actually be able to control the game and now you have this big massive screen in front of you and you have a 46 degree field of view as well and yeah basically you have like a big kind of TV set or actually like a movie theater in front of you so you can use this when you're just riding around in the car or I actually like to use this a lot if I'm on a train or something so um, it's really cool for that but one thing I would mention though kind of a, a nice little tip here is that these uh, kind of shades right here on the front they do come off of these and so now you can still see the screen but also I can still see through the the glasses as well so I'm a little bit more aware of my surroundings so I really like to use this when I am gaming out in public or on public transit because you never know what's going to happen so I like to be able to see people walking up on me and stuff um, but when I am in the car or something or somewhere where I just feel very comfortable and safe I will pop on those shades because these give you that solid black background behind the screen and that's just going to give you the best quality but now let's talk about what you need to do to be able to play with with the Nintendo Switch. So this will require a little bit more work. It's not super hard at all, so I'm gonna walk you through it. Now, normally when you want to use the Nintendo Switch with a TV or a monitor, you have to go through the Nintendo Switch dock, which is kind of big. And because these glasses basically act as a monitor, we don't want to have to carry around that dock. But I have a solution for you, and there's basically a few things you're going to need. You're gonna need this adapter that you get from Amazon that basically replicates what the dock does for the Nintendo Switch. Then also you will need a portable power bank, and you also will need the in real air adapter and for cables you'll need the USB-C cable that comes with the glasses you'll also need another USB-C cable and also a HDMI cable and so the first thing you do is just take the Nintendo switch and also this little adapter here it's super colorful I forgot the name of it but I'll put it linked down below in the description of this video where you can pick it up on Amazon if you want to but you plug the USB-C cable of this into the bottom of the Nintendo switch and then you take one of the USB-C cables and you plug it into the adapter and then you plug it into your power bank and then now you take that HDMI cable and plug it into that replacement Nintendo switch adapter and then you take the other end of that HDMI cable and plug it into the in real air adapter and then from here you take the USB-C cable that came with the glasses and you plug it into the USB port on this in real air adapter and then now you plug the other end into your glasses and now you're almost set to go now one thing you should know is that because these glasses are acting like a TV you normally would not be able to use the joy cons that are attached to the nintendo switch while they are docked so it basically replicates that so i can't play like this and so at this point you can either take the joy cons off the controller and use them or i like to actually use my nintendo switch pro controller um, to be able to play games and now i'm playing zelda i'm playing mario kart playing whatever in the car or while i'm sitting at a park bench or doing whatever and so yeah those are my two favorite ways to game on the go with these glasses and another benefit of having these glasses is that i don't have to look down while i'm playing at a screen all the time I can lean my head back especially for like a long car ride or something or if I'm laying down in the bed I can actually be laying flat on my back and still be able to game and have the uh, controls down by my waist or something so it's good for that a little bit less stress on the back of this old neck that I have um, but ultimately this is really something that you have to experience it's really hard for me to show you exactly how it is to to game on these but it really is a cool experience it's definitely worthwhile to use on a plane or something um, and it's something that's different it's something that will give you another unique experience 
whether you're playing games or watching a movie or watching YouTube videos, I'm using this. And go watch my full video that I did over these in real air glasses where I show you how um, you can use it with your smartphone, you can use it with different things, and I'll leave that link down below as well. But right now, I think it has stopped raining, so I'm about to get in the car and go back home and take a nap. But what do you think about these glasses? Drop a comment down below, and also I'll leave a link down below to these glasses so you can pick them up for yourself. And I will leave a link in the description box for this video leading to these glasses. And I think on Amazon, they're going for like $379 at this point. So anyway, this is this video. I'm wrapping up here. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.